going to be, what is that noise? Oh, it's the blinds going up a little bit because I got stuck. This is going to be a coffee vlog, a morning coffee vlog. Every morning, I try to wake up early and I make myself a coffee, sit down on the couch, do my reading, have like my coffee with Jesus moments. And I've just been loving doing that. Yesterday, some new beans came in from Trade. I use the Trade subscription, which is a subscription service that you can you pay monthly, whatever, whatever you choose. And you can either choose coffees freshly roasted from across the United States or they can choose for you. But I like it because this way you get to like choose all these different roasters and try all these different roasters. I got an email the other week for a new summer coffee, like limited edition coffee that they're having. And I was just running low, so I was like, you know what? Let me order it and try it. It's a little expensive. It's probably the most expensive one that I personally ever bought, although there are some even way more expensive than this. But it had coffee notes of like watermelon and I don't know. We're gonna try it out and try to dial it in today. And that's gonna be today's vlog. When you buy the coffee beans, this comes in this red bag. So anytime you see a red bag in the mail, you already know. So Alright, so these ooh. This is the brand, the brand, the roaster. It's Steady State Campo Hermosa Pink Bourbon Watermelon. So the tasting notes are watermelon, Jolly Rancher, and Hubba Bubba. And it tells you the origin, the farmer, the process. So it's honey processed, single varietal. And I'm just so excited to try these. I personally have been loving light roasts, light to medium roasts with like fruity, fruity with a little hit of something in there like whether it's like chocolate or something like the blend of those two i've just been personally been loving so i'm interested to see how this is gonna how this is gonna taste i have the eureka specialita grinder in white i like having my coffee and grinder separate because that way my grinder i'm gonna hopefully keep for the rest of my life and i have already upgraded this and downgraded it a, a few times right now i went from the gaja and right now i have the casa bruce i'm not sure what model this is this is my cat, but it came with a pressurized pour filter, this one here. It's great for beginners, but it's not going to do much in terms of being able to extract maximum flavor out of coffees. It's just not. So I ordered a bottomless pour filter with a wooden handle, and this adds just the most beautiful touch to the machine in my opinion. And I really like the coffee that it extracts, so that's what I'm going to be using. I also have like my little tools here, dozing cup dozing funnel so it doesn't go everywhere it's magnetic keeps all the grounds in place I love to use a coffee filter disc situation and then I have a two-in-one kind of like a tamper and a whatever you call this thing swivelly thing and then a WDT tool listen listen I'm not a pro but I feel like I'm in like the beginner stages of getting past beginner I this cat what does she see outside what is going on she's not even an outside cat I don't know I don't know what's it was in her breakfast this morning everybody kind of has a different process when it comes to dialing in beans I keep my dose the same so my basket here holds 14 grams so every time I need no matter what beans no matter what time of day no matter what anytime I'm making a double shot it's also it's always 14 grams well it's like 14.2 14.5 14.7 whatever but it's 14 that for me doesn't change as you can tell right here I have a single dose hopper so I don't ever just pour all of my beans in there if you have like a Breville model or a Breville grinder where it has a large hopper this one did have a large hopper so I could have but for me I still single dose every single time every single time I make a shot double shot I weigh out 14 grams of beans, which is how much my basket holds. That's just how I do things. I've kind of gotten into the flow of it. It's maybe like an extra 10 seconds, 15 seconds, whatever. I enjoy it. I don't mind it. So for me, I weigh out my beans every single time. I'm just going to use whatever grinder settings it's already set to. The previous roast was also like a medium roast, so we're just going to trial it out with this grind size and adjust from there.
So basically what you want is you want double whatever you put in. So I put in 14 grams. I want 28 out approximately within 25 to 30 seconds. That's kind of like the golden ratio. You can tweak it depending on your beans, light or dark, so on and so forth. accidentally reset the timer but it was like 25 seconds a little under and it, I could already tell it was flowing way too fast it went well past the 28 grams before I even hit 20 seconds so and I could just tell by the way it was flowing out it was flowing out way too fast and with a medium roast like a light medium roast especially what can happen is you can get a lot of the since they're already more sour acidic and fruity and all of that you're not gonna get a bit as balanced of a shot as you want you might get like the sour notes I'm trying to give it a try. It's sour, but this is literally the most unique coffee I've ever tried. This is so weird. It's almost like it doesn't belong in a coffee, but yet you still want to try it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the grind size because it was flowing too fast. Usually means the grind size was too big. So you got to lower the grind size. So I'm going to lower that and then repeat these exact same steps. And hopefully that fixes it. Sometimes it takes me two, sometimes three. Sometimes you get it in the first shot. With this grinder, I have to adjust the grind size while it's running. Nothing inside. So I'm going to make it a little bit more fine. Still pretty fast. Very minor adjustments on this shot. Is basically very similar to the first one. So I'm gonna adjust it one more time. I'm just not gonna do it in this video because that shot's gonna be for my husband. I'm gonna make an Americano out of it. And that one I'm gonna use to make a latte. It is what it is. I wanted to briefly include this clip in here. I decided to try these beans in a pour over coffee style versus espresso. Pour over in general, I feel like lighter roasts. You get more of the fruity floral notes, things like that. And I have to say, I probably prefer it in coffee over version versus espresso version with espresso version it just tastes to me like somebody dropped a jolly rancher in my coffee accidentally and it's just been marinating in there while i'm sipping on it that's what it tastes like to me not crazy about it but pour over i feel like it's more balanced and just tastes better so those are my opinions on that yeah we got squiggly wiggly art today bottom of my art kind of floated away I'm boiling some hot water for my husband's americano just as a reminder i did mention at the beginning of this video this is a coffee vlog so it's very casual kind of like hang out with me video blog style type video but let's give this a try it smells so unique hmm it's very interesting i'm not sure how i feel about it yet i feel like i like it but then i'm like mm, i don't know I usually love fruity notes. One of my favorites is, I'm gonna start a picture here. It's from Sermon, I believe. So good, so good. That was my favorite one, I think, so far. One of my favorites from the trade subscription. And then when we were on a family reunion, we stayed at my brother-in-law's house. Everybody came from all four corners of America and everybody kind of brought like a bag of coffee with them. So my sister-in-law and her husband, they live in California. They, there's a place there, that local place that roasts or buys from um, Onyx. And I'm sure a lot of people have heard of Onyx. And they have a blend called Tropical Weather, I believe. Probably by far one of my favorites. It just, all the notes, the fruitiness, everything, it's just so perfectly and well done. Absolutely loved it. Will 100% buy it. I bought it through Amazon because they do sell on Amazon. They do, I promise. <laughs> they have a storefront. Um, and they'll freshly roast it, all that. I canceled the order because I got an email for this one. I was like, you know what, let me try this one first. There's just something in here, like the last note, it's like a, it like punches you. It's like a, I'm a hubba, it's probably the hubba bubba. It's like, here I am. And then it just like lingers. If we can take that out, I feel like it would be really nice, but it's very unique. It's very unique. Maybe my palate just still has to, you know, get used to it, but if you're not, into like fruity notes obviously you won't like it but you know it's not bad i'm glad i tried it so that's my personal review of this i hope you guys enjoyed hanging out all things coffee talk and i'm gonna sit down enjoy my coffee make my husband's americano it is sunday and we're gonna get ready for church and i hope you guys have a great week thanks for watching and cheers <laughs>